Volkswagen Philippines organized a test drive recently with members of the motoring media on board five units of the two variants of the Passat, the Business Edition and Highline. The itinerary took us from the Volkswagen Bonifacio Global City showroom in Taguig City to the luxurious resort and spa facility in the premier dive spot south of Manila, Anilao, in Batangas. We talked to Volkswagen Philippines President and CEO, J.P. Orbeta, before we took off for Batangas. Thanks for coming and thanks for joining us. Uh, we've um, uh, assembled a interesting route for you today. You know, the Passat's one of our oldest um, ongoing uh, existing models. No? Um, since its launch in 1973, it's continued um, uh, being on the road um, for, for, the, for all those years. Um, but we've recently upgraded all the features um, and we were pl pleased to introduce it to the market in the Philippines. And so we'd really like you, our friends in the media, to have a chance to test drive them yourselves. The route, all of nearly 400 kilometers, was intended to highlight the Passat's class-leading characteristics of passenger and cargo space, refined and quiet ride, powerful engine, and top safety features, all of which earned for it the 2015 European Car of the Year. The new Passat has a large luggage compartment space. With a volume of 586 to 1,152 liters and 6040 folding rear seat backrests and center armrests load through hatch, the car's luggage compartment could load even bulky gears. As for the passengers, the generous headroom provided comfort throughout the trip. The rear seats with extended leg support enhanced the comfort of the rear passengers. The Passat, even when fully loaded with passengers and cargo, led pace in the terrain of southern Luzon and easily managed the twisty, hilly sections of the scenic coastal passes, straddling the Cavite and Batangas provinces. The power and German-tuned responsiveness of the Passat Business Edition's 2-liter TSI, or turbocharged stratified injection engine, mated to the 6-speed DSG, or direct shift gearbox was most evident in these rolling sections of the route. We had a scenic drive coming from General Trias in Cavite and going all the way to Kailabne Bay, passing through Puerto Azul. And of course, uh, we're here at the Kainan of the Lampasigan in the Sugbu Batangas for lunch. And from here, we are going to proceed to Anilao in Mabini, Batangas. Of course, the Volkswagen Passat is very impressive and very nice, very fun to drive. It's fast, it's powerful, and it's very comfortable. The power plant's maximum power output of 220 PS in the 4500 to 6200 RPM range and maximum torque of 350 Nm in the 1500 to 4400 RPM range was more than adequate to keep the Passat drivers confident behind the wheel. Volkswagen selected a very interesting route. Uh, it's not your usual, not all highway. So we passed a little bit of city, we passed a little bit of uh, rural roads, and uh, we passed a little bit of mountain roads. And uh, it was a great chance to see how the Passat performs in all of these situations. It's supremely comfortable. Um, the amenities are great. There's lots of room especially in the back, and the seats are so soft. Uh, it's actually very easy to fall asleep in the car. Uh, it has a smaller engine than most cars in its class, which is a two-liter turbo, but because of that turbo, um, it's exceptionally fast. One of the uh, best features of the Passat is the um, fuel efficiency. The start-stop feature is when you're in traffic and you uh, stop uh, the engine uh, turns off for 30 seconds and uh, you save a lot of fuel. Uh, the interior is, is very elegant as usual. Um, all I can tell you is try it. The car also has the adaptive chassis control or DCC with drive profile selection 
which makes it possible to adjust the running gear to a normal, sporty or comfortable tuning. While the drive profile selection allows the driver to choose different driving modes, sport, comfort and normal. Plus the electronic differential lock or XDS, an extension of the EDL function, responds to the unloading of the front wheel on the inside of the corner when cornering pass, thereby giving more control to the driver during tight turns. We also enjoyed a quieter ride, what with the reduced noise characteristics of the three-zone climatronic air conditioning system, which features improved acoustic properties of the heater, air conditioning unit, the configuration of the air distribution, and blower control according to the driving profile. The car's Bluetooth technology also enables passengers to play music from their iPods or smartphones and get a good sound from the 8-speaker audio system. The Discover Pro combined with the Active Info Display Central Digital Instrument Cluster that features configurable graphic panels, offers drivers an even more extensive sense of control in all aspects of the ride and drive experience. The car also has panoramic sunroof. The new Passat, the 8th generation of Volkswagen's oldest active product brand, under which has been sold 22 million units worldwide since the first rollout in 1973, is designed and produced from Volkswagen in Germany, straight to Volkswagen Philippines showrooms. The car also uses 18-inch alloy wheels. 12-way electric front ergo comfort seats, rear view camera, park distance control, and keyless go entry. The Passat was the fitting ride to bring the participants to two days worth of the good life, including some beach side pampering and dive sessions at the exclusive La Chevrerie Resort and Spa. The Passat Highline 2.0 TSI DSG is priced at 2,253,000 pesos, while the 2-liter TSI DSG Business Edition sells at 2,759,000 pesos. Got something new to show you when we get there. I feel alive. I know that you love me alive. I know that you want me to make me feel alive. Mitsubishi Pajero. Mobility without compromise. <laughs> 